when I get through with this guy, Milley, I mean, how about Milley? Remember? Yeah. How about General Mark Milley, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? Breaking. General Mark Milley protected nuclear weapons from being launched by rogue Trump, Woodward reports. In a new book, Peril, Bob Woodward and Robert Costa write about the final Anyone days of the want, Trump presidency. Here, we're going to walk down to the Capitol. On January 6th, as Trump supporters attacked and wounded more than 140 police officers, some insurrections prepared a gallows on the Capitol grounds. President Trump tweeted, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution. Treason! 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 The Secret Service then whisked the vice president out of the Capitol. Hours later, police cleared all protesters out of the building and Congress certified Joe Biden's election victory. But House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was so alarmed by Donald Trump, she called the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Mark Milley, quote, who knows what he might do? He's crazy. You know he's crazy. He's been crazy for a long time. So don't say you don't know what his state of mind is. He's crazy. And what he did yesterday is further evidence of his craziness. Millie, quote, Madam Speaker, I agree with you on everything. According to military officials, General Milley had already discussed January 6th with his own senior staff and said, quote, you never know what a president's trigger point is. Milley then called a secret meeting in his Pentagon office on January the 8th to review the process for military action ordered by Trump, including launching nuclear weapons. Speaking to senior officials in charge of the National Military Command Center, the Pentagon's war room, Milley instructed them not to take orders from anyone unless he, Milley, was involved. Quote, no matter what you are told, you do the procedure, you do the process, and I'm part of that procedure. According to the book, Milley then went around the room, looked each officer in the eye, and asked them to verbally confirm they understood. Frightening, right? Well, according to the new book, it was not just top government and military leaders in the United States who were nervous about Trump. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. According to the new Woodward Acosta book, in the final months of the Trump presidency, the highest levels of the Chinese government believed President Trump was going to start a war. There had been tensions over military exercises in the South China Sea and belligerent Trump rhetoric towards China. General Mark Milley was apparently so concerned about the U.S. intelligence reports of China's expectations about a war that he called his Chinese counterpart twice to try to reassure him that no U.S. attack was coming. The first call came just days before the U.S. presidential election. Another call came right after the January 6th Capitol insurrection. Milley reportedly told China's top general the United States was stable, but that democracy sometimes could be sloppy. Milley told Pentagon Associates that his Chinese counterpart was still rattled, but did not relay the Chinese anxieties to President Trump. However, to help soothe tensions with China and decrease the chances of a preemptive Chinese attack against the United States, Milley ordered the cancellation of U.S. military exercises in the South China Sea. Amidst the news coming out of the Woodward Acosta book, President Trump is now accusing General Milley of treason. That's right. In Trump's world, trying to keep a nuclear adversary calm is treason, but trying to overthrow a U.S. election is showing fidelity to America. With Trump, the madness never ends, as this latest Woodward Acosta book makes clear.